Hi everyone, my name is Joe from Homegrown Musician and welcome back to another video. So in today's episode, I'll be sharing with you a really cool little production tip called a tape stop. Now a tape stop's a creative effect, so you can use it in your songs or your mixes, and uh, I'll be showing you how to do that in three different DAWs, Logic, Pro Tools, and Ableton. So first things first, what is a tape stop? So for those of you that don't know, music used to be stored on tape. So not like cellar tape, it was called magnetic tape. And effectively it was just a storage and playback system, kind of like WAV and MP3 files are today. So if you wanted to listen back to the information that was stored in your tape, you needed to run it across a tape player. Now if this tape ran across at the right speed, the music would play back fine. If it ran too quickly, however, the music would come out at a faster tempo and a higher pitch. If it ran too slowly, the opposite had happened and the music would play back at a slower tempo tempo and a lower pitch, so obviously you want the tape to run correctly. However, music producers realised that if you had your tape running and then stopped the tape machine all of a sudden, as the tape slowed down you get this really cool effect where the music feels like it's collapsing in on itself, just like this. And that is a tape stop. So obviously we don't really use tape anymore, maybe a few specialist studios do, but for the most part people rely on computers, so I'll show you how to get that same effect in these DAWs. So first up is Logic. So to perform a tape stop in Logic, the first thing you'll need to do is cut where you want the tape stop to end, so where it finishes. Now you'll need to do this for all the clips that you want affected because it works on a clip by clip basis. So once you've done this, highlight all the clips you want affected and move over to the information panel on the left hand side. Click the region drop down menu and move down to fade out. Now change this to slow down and increase the value of the number next to it. Now all of a sudden, all of your clips should have a tape stop applied to them. Now the higher the value, the longer the tape stop. Now I really like the way Logic works because it's actually quite tweakable. Unlike some of the other doors, which we'll see in a minute, you can just do this really quickly on the fly and it's very easy to adjust. So the next DAW we'll be using is Pro Tools. So to apply a tape stop effect in Pro Tools, again, cut where you want the tape stop to finish, but also where you want the tape stop to start. Just like with Logic, you need to do this across all of the clips that you want affected. Now once you've set your boundaries, select the new little clips that you've just made and move up to Audio Suite at the top bar. Click on this, move down to Pitch and find Verify, as this is the effect we'll be using. So once this loads up, you'll see the menu in front of you, and it's pretty simple, just select slow down and hit render. So how the tape stop effect works in Pro Tools is it actually burns the effect onto the clip because it's through the audio suite menu. Now this has its advantages, but it makes it kind of tricky to adjust. So if you want to change this tape stop slightly, you'll have to delete the clips we've just made and drag the original clip back out and try again with slightly different boundaries. So the final DAW we'll be looking at is Ableton, and here is how you apply a tape stop effect. So firstly, it works on a clip by clip basis, just like in Logic and Pro Tools, so you'll need to repeat the process for each clip. So open the clip that you want to use, and go to the bottom left hand corner, to Warp Settings, and select Complex. Now this is very important, and if you don't do this, the tape stop won't work properly. Then, to the left hand side, select Automation Settings, and the Automation View should open up just above the waveform to your right. Then select Transposition as the automation you want to view, and draw the shape of your tape stop over the waveform. So select a start point and an end point. Now remember to reset the automation to zero after the tape stop is finished, or your clip will play back at the wrong speed. And that's it, that's how you apply a tape stop in Ableton. So that neatly brings us to the end of today's video. So I know it's a bit of a short and sweet one, but I actually think it's a really useful production tip. It's definitely the sort of thing I'd have wanted to know like three, four years ago when I was starting out. It's the sort of thing that every producer should have in their back pocket so that if you're a bit stuck on a beat or a composition, you can throw it on and see if it works. And at the very least, I hope you've learned something new about your favorite DAW. So please remember to like, share and subscribe as it would massively help the channel.